Objective To study about human skeletal system, the skull. The skull forms the endoskeleton of the head. It protects the brain and supports the structures of the face. The human skull consists of two sets of bones, eight bones that constitute the cranium, also referred to as the neurocranium, and 14 facial bones that constitute the viscerocranium. Thus, the skull consists of 22 bones apart from the ear ossicles and the hyoid bone, the cranium or neurocranium or brain box. The neurocranium lodges and protects the brain and sense organs. It is formed by eight flattened cranial bones that form the hard protective covering for the brain. These include a frontal, a pair of parietals, a pair of temporals, an occipital, a sphenoid and an ethmoid. Frontal bone. It forms the forehead, anterior part of the cranial floor, roof of the orbits and a part of the bony part of the nose. Parietal bones. These form the major portion of the sides and roof of the cranial cavity. Temporal bones. These form the lateral parts and the floor of the cranial cavity. Each temporal bone bears the opening of the external auditory meatus and lodges the middle ear components in the tympanic part called the tympanic or auditory bulla. Each temporal bone also has a styloid process, zygomatic process and mastoid process for articulation with the facial bones. Occipital bone. It forms the posterior part and most of the base of the cranium. It has a large opening called as the foramen magnum for the passage of the medulla oblongata. There are two protuberances from the occipital bone on either side of the foramen magnum. These are known as the occipital condyles. They articulate with the atlas, that is the first vertebra. As two occipital condyles are present, the skull is referred to as a dicondylic skull. Sphenoid bone. It is present in the middle part of the base of the cranium. It is a butterfly or bat-shaped bone with two wing-like processes. It is referred to as the keystone bone of the cranium as it articulates with all of the other cranial bones. It has a pit-like depression called as the cella tersica, which lodges the pituitary gland. Ethmoid bone. It is present on the midline of the anterior part of the cranial floor between the two orbits. It separates the nasal cavity from the brain. The cranial bones articulate with one another by immovable interdigitating joints called as sutures. The frontal bone is articulated with the two parietal bones by the coronal suture. The sagittal suture is present between the two parietal bones. The two parietals are joined with the occipital bone by the lambdoid suture. The temporal bones are joined with the parietal bones by the squamosal sutures. A number of fine openings called as foramina are present in the cranial bones for the passage of the cranial nerves. The fetal cranium has a number of soft areas called as the fontanelles. At birth there are six fontanelles out of which two prominent ones are recognized. 
The posterior fontanelle is present at the back of the head. It closes by the age of one or two months. The anterior fontanelle, also known as the frontal fontanelle, is the largest fontanelle. It is present on top of the head and closes by the age of 18 months.